This is my hour. Hi there, and welcome to yet another great episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install the ProRes codec onto your Mac if you don't have Final Cut Pro, and I'm going to show you how to set it up in Adobe Media Encoder so that you can export out to ProRes. You can do this with or without some pre-made presets courtesy of Adobe that they have supplied or you can you know set it up uh, DIY your own presets. I'll show you how to uh, set it up either way. The first thing you need to know is Adobe Media Encoder and your Apple Mac don't come stock with ProRes. If you drag and drop a video file in here um, like I just did You'll see that there's all kinds of presets. You can set it up for H.264 or whatever you like. Um, in this case, I'm going to select QuickTime because you know ProRes is a QuickTime format. And you'll see on these presets that it's not there. Now, if you wanted to, uh, you know, go into more detail on this, you can click on the codec name there, and then you can see which codecs are installed on your computer. So you see the A uh, Apple Intermediate codec the Apple Pixlet, all these uh, other formats, they're not ProRes, and uh, so you don't have that available to you out of the box. So let's cancel that. If you wanna install new codecs and get them active in Adobe Media Encoder, you have to quit Adobe Media Encoder. And I wanna give a big shout out to the Video Road, which is a blog on blogs.adobe.com. You'll see the uh, link down below in the description. And all of the links that I'm about to show you are also in the description. First off, you need to get the ProRes codec, which is from apple.com. You can click on the uh, apple.com link that you find in the description there. It shows you the Pro Apps QuickTime codex. You just download that and it downloads a DMG file to your downloads folder. If you click on that, it's going to uh, verify it. Then it will open it up and you'll see it's a package folder, uh, package file. So that means it installs with installer. And uh, if you click continue on that, it's gonna tell you Pro Apps QuickTime codecs can't be installed on this disk. No qualifying copies of Final Cut Pro, Motion, or Compressor were found. Now, if you have a previous installation of Final Cut Pro or Motion or Compressor, you probably won't have this problem. But for those of us that don't have any of the uh, Mac, you know, the Apple Pro apps, then uh, you're kind of stuck, right? Well, let's just uh, look at this another way. Let's go back to the uh, Video Road blog post here. They show that you can download Unpackage for free here, which is an app that is very useful for unpackaging these uh, package files without having to run the installer. So let's run the zip file, and then we'll go over to our downloads folder and click on the uh, folder that we just created. So the Unpackage app is, you know, it's a pretty useful app, uh, but you know, you don't have to install it in your applications folder if you don't want to. So I'm just going to show it just running right from here. Uh, you got to click open and then it's going to say drag package files to this window to extract. So let's go into our QuickTime codex thing, grab that package file that was there and drag it there. You'll see in the details, it says extracting QuickTime Codex. It's gonna be on the desktop there. I'm just gonna quit that, and I'm gonna go over to my desktop. So there is the folder that it just created, and you'll see library QuickTime. So these are the actual codecs that um, you're gonna install into your Mac. So there's uh, two ways that you can do this. You can right click on this, and copy the seven items here, then go into your Mac HD library and uh, QuickTime, and there is your codex folder, and you can right click and paste the seven items. And I'm gonna show you another way that you can do that in case you can't get to your library folder, like uh, on my other Mac, somehow my library folder is not publicly visible. So let's just uh, look at another way to do it. You can boot up the terminal. You can type in CD forward slash library forward slash QuickTime. 
then type in open space dot and it will pull up the finder and again you can paste the seven items and you'll probably have to authorize with your password uh, if you have any uh, codecs that already exist just click keep both and then it will create a copy so there you have all your codecs that uh, you can have from the Apple website and um, the Adobe stuff is already built into the Creative Suite. So now that we've got those installed on the Mac and we can close up all these other Finder windows and uh, we can actually go in here and eject the Pro Apps QuickTime folder. We can even go into the desktop and take this QuickTime thing and delete it. And now, now we've exited Adobe Media Encoder, so we need to relaunch it. Let's go in and we can look at, again, we have QuickTime. And, but, uh, and we still don't have the ProRes codec here. So it's not one of the presets, but if we go in and we click on the DV codec there, uh, you can look and you can see all the ProRes codecs are here. So you can use that and you can create your codec and then and uh, you can go in your presets and set up your quality and your frames and all of that stuff and then you would select save preset at which point you would name it and uh, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to show you on the Adobe website where they have the additional presets for ProRes. And you can click here to download. This is for the Mac only. Let's download now. ProRes presets. Let's click on that and we'll go into downloads. And there are our presets. So let's pull up Adobe Media Encoder and in the preset browser, let's go here import preset and we will go to our downloads folder in the ProRes here so one at a time so you have a 720p 25 this way you can install the presets that you want and nothing else let's just take and pull up one of those 23.976 EPR and we'll do that click OK now when we go here we can have the Apple ProRes 422 720p. So you want to go through those presets and select the one that best suits your needs and go from there. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you next week. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoyed seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Mind Power.